Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to attempt a Shanzak guy full face of makeup. Fun fact, I have already filmed this video entirely, but when I looked at the footage, it was out of focus, blurry, and unusable. So we are attempting take two right now. But before we go any further, Let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. I did in fact make an iced coffee this morning. I just used a regular espresso shot and poured it over some soy milk. And then I added some caramel syrup because I ordered some of these coffee syrups online just to make, you know, some fun coffee drinks at home. And I have to say it's quite delicious. So let me know what you guys are drinking at home while you're watching this video. Okay, since I've already filmed this video entirely, I should be well versed in what I'm doing. I am going into the Hummingbird Cool Toned Eye Quartet to start, and I'm going into the more cool toned taupey color here as a transition shade. Now you'll notice as you're blending it out that it, it is not entirely matte. It is a soft satin finish, but the satin finish is really light, so you don't have to worry about it being too glittery. It's perfectly safe and fine to use as a transition shade. I just noticed I had this like chunk of hair cream in my hair, you know, from like when you style it. I was just like, what the fork is that? Ugh. Okay, moving on. Now, I'm going to go into this iridescent shade, the one at the bottom. So it looks like a shift between pink and green, depending on the light. It's really pretty. So just going in with a finger, I'm just going to go ahead and tap this on the mobile lid right here. This color is so interesting. I find it just really depends on the lighting, which color pops out. It's so cool. And now we're going into the shade called Pangolin. So this is one of the singles that came out in the fall collection last year, I wanna say. But these are all of the single individual animal eyeshadow shades. So Pangolin is like this purple lilac shift color. It's like magic in an eyeshadow single. It's so pretty. And I wanna go ahead and compare Pangolin with this color right here because I think some people think that they look identical but they're really not. So if you look at the color in the quad right here, you'll see that it looks much more pink and green and pangolin almost looks more deep. It looks like a more deep plum when you compare them side by side. To me, I think they actually look quite different when you swatch them compared together but they also work really well. Like they're both really complementary to each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this Kodali grape water. Use a setting spray, a face mist, anything like that, or even just plain water, and spray it on a small tapered eyeshadow brush because I find that Pangolin works best when you wet the brush. It just kind of gives this beautiful sheen and just, I don't know, it makes the eyeshadow go from like zero to a thousand if you wet the brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place this over top of the shadow that I placed earlier. And then taking the more tapered edge, I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna go ahead and trace Pangolin under the bottom lashes here. And then let's just go ahead and wrap the whole thing around the entire eye. Why not? And then once that's done, let's just take a clean brush and just blend out the shadow that we have here. I didn't add anything to this brush here. It's just going to buff out everything. Okay, for the time being, let's just go ahead and skip to the face makeup. We'll finish up the eyes afterwards. I'm going into my Chantica Future Skin Gel Foundation in the shade called Alabaster. I really like this foundation. It's just annoying that you have to scoop out the product. So I do make sure to clean the spatula in between every use just to make it more hygienic. But I kind of wish that Chantecaille gave you a spatula or something with the product because it doesn't come with its own. You have to kind of find one yourself. But I just wish that, 
You know, sometimes when you get an eye cream, it comes with a little tool to help apply it onto the skin. I wish that this foundation had a tool just to get the product out, just saying. And then for the concealer, I'm going into my Real Skin Plus Eye and Face Stick in the shade 1. So now I want to use a face powder. Unfortunately, I didn't pick up the powder in the spring collection that came out this year, the one with the beautiful hummingbird packaging. However, it's still available for sale. And if you persuade me to, if you convince me, I might get it because the more I look at it, the more it's enticing to me. So I didn't get it initially, but I'm really on the fence about whether or not I should buy it. All of that to say, I'm going to go ahead and use a different brand for the powder. I'm going to go ahead and use my Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Powder just to set my makeup a little bit. And then the same goes for the bronzer. I know they came out with that bronzer last year, which apparently is really nice and really cool. It has like a gel texture. And I was thinking of getting it this year, but I was holding off until I saw the promos of this year's summer collection, because I thought that if they came out with a bronzer with this collection this year, then you know I wouldn't want to get both. But since all of the promos for the summer collection this year are just highlighters and blushes, Maybe I should just go ahead and get that one too. In the meantime, I'll go into my Chanel Le Beige Cream Bronzer here. So for the blush, I will go into my Cheek Gelé from Jean Sakai. I have the shade Vibrant. This is a gel cream blush, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. So I'm going to go ahead and cheat one last time. I promise I'm done with the cheating. This is the Chanel Volume Mascara. I don't have a Jean Sakai mascara. If I'm not mistaken, they only have one. Am I wrong? Am I right? I don't know. I know that Abby Bliss White really loves it, but I haven't tried it yet. If you've tried their mascara, let me know down in the comments. So I actually forgot one step that I meant to do. I think this is my punishment for cheating during my full face of Chantecaille. I'm going back into that iridescent color, the first one that I used in the first place. I'm going to go ahead and place this over top right here. Now this would in fact be much easier if I didn't put on mascara. So at home, do this before the mascara. And now I'm going to go into that light ballet slipper pink color and just put a little dot of that on the inner corner here. So now for the lip, I'm going to go into my Lip Chic in Honeysuckle. So this is technically a lipstick, but it's so buttery and creamy and glossy. I love it because it's super comfortable. I can reapply the lip chic throughout the day instead of a lip balm. It kind of just like adds moisture and comfort. So that's always a plus for me. I find that this lip color kind of leans more towards like cool toned pink on me, which I think looks really nice with the entire look. I think that this beautiful sparkly pink iridescent eye look is really nice, but I think I want something a bit more neutral and nude. I understand if a sparkly eye look is maybe not for everyone, but if you like shimmer colors, I think combining these two is so pretty. I love how sparkly and beautiful this look is. It really catches the light and it's just so flattering. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you got some inspiration on how to use up your items at home. I know a lot of you are collecting along with me, so you probably have most or some of these items. If you don't, just try to recreate it with the stuff you already have at home. If you guys are new to my channel, I talk about nothing but luxury beauty. I do a lot of reviews and tutorials, and whenever I get a new collection, I will create several different looks with the same items. So that way you guys at home really get a sense on how to use up all of your makeup. And I also have a new series on my channel called Beauty History, where I dive into the history and legacy of different fashion houses and makeup brands. And these videos are highly interesting. I've heard comments from people who said that at first they weren't sure if they were really interested in learning about beauty history, but then they watched an episode or two and then they were completely hooked. So that is my testimony. So if you would like to support me on my channel here, please make sure to like and also subscribe. These things help my channel grow. But anyway, I think this about does it for today's video because I have finished my iced latte. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.